Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part six of the ultimate guide for new players for Scum 0.95. Yeah, I've been away for a few days, busy with some IRL things, but we're back now. And I did bury my chest from the last episode. You guys can see I cleaned up my loot quite a bit. Um, still got quite a bit of loot on us, but I feel most of the loot on us is necessary. We kept six screwdrivers in case we get a lucky cargo drop, which is not the case yet. But yeah, um, we have set our goals in the previous video where we looked at the traders. And now I'm going to level up my survival to basic because although I have a compass on me, like if you craft the compass, which we did, it acts like basic survival. Okay, but you need at least medium survival to see north, west, south, and east. But the compass gives you a level. Okay, so level zero, let's say you don't have a compass and you don't have any survival skill, that's level zero. You won't even see north when you hold in focus mode. Okay, then level one is basically either a basic survival or a primitive compass. You can get a military compass that fixes all your problems immediately, but we're just going to focus on the basics now. So the primitive compass gets us up to level one, but we need at least level two to see all the directions. So how are we going to level up survival today is by, we're only at 57%, like I'm comfortable doing this up to basic, um, you know, medium, less comfortable, advanced, no way, okay? The best way to level up your survival and your engineering is just simply building a base, okay? It didn't used to be like that. You had to, like, use certain blueprints to level up your engineering, but trust me, with 0 0.95, just building a base naturally levels up your engineering and your survival. So... Well, all I'm going to do now is take out bobby pins, which is very, very, very fast. It's instant. Okay, so let's see how much it, that gives us. Six, nah, we're at 693. Still at 693. Okay, so taking out bobby pins doesn't really help us. Okay. But if we take out 10 bobby pins, okay, if we take out 10 bobby pins, remember we, we are at 693, 5,693. Now, if we craft, okay, we just go to our items. What can we craft? We can craft lock picks. We can auto craft. If we craft 10 of them, what then? From 15, so it's 11, 37, 48, 59, 70. Okay, so every time we craft a bobby pin with three intelligence, we're getting 11 experience, okay, for 10 bobby pins. Um, so that gives us 110 experience for just crafting 10 bobby pins. Okay, so that's not too bad. Now, what happens if we craft a bundle? We can clearly craft a bundle. Okay, so we go from 803 So we're getting double. We're getting 22 XP for that. If we uncraft it, Nothing. Okay, if we craft it again. Okay, then we're getting the 22 experience again. So we can craft and uncraft. Okay, but yeah, guys, you can cut down trees, but I mean, the thing is, you can do this in the safe zone. Okay, so that. So that's 130. We've got 330 XP here by just 
you know, turning the bobby pins into lock picks. That's 330 experience right there. Okay. So not extremely fast, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad, okay? And like I say, you can auto-craft it. Of course, cutting down bushes, cutting down trees, you know, crafting arrows. That's also a very, very easy way. Cutting down an entire branch, processing every stick, every short stick into an arrow. Okay, so we'll see how that goes. Okay, we gained about 6% survival there with two bobby pin boxes. Okay, not too bad. But let's cut down the tree. See how that works for us. That was 110 XP, guys. Not bad at all. Okay, not bad at all. We're just going to look at the arrow. Like, I still feel the logs are the best. But let's see what one what one branch can do for us. And I mean, always nice to craft arrows. We probably got we probably going to craft a few arrows here. But let's just check here. Okay, so we're gonna cut, cut the tree branch. Okay, now we're just gonna cut every long stick into short sticks. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, not bad at all. Um, just cutting the long sticks into small sticks gained us another like 8%. Um, yeah, 8% there. Every long stick that you cut into a sh short stick is 55 XP. And now for the test, we've got a bunch of short, short sticks around us here. So if we just go to crafting, and I'm just going to do normal arrows. Let's just see how that works. Okay, so we go to auto crafting. How much is that? 10, yeah, okay, it's 11 again. Okay, it's almost like the bobby pins. It's almost like the bobby pins. Basically, it's exactly like the bobby pins. But the difference is taking out the bobby pins, which is instant, doesn't give you survival, but cutting these um, long sticks into small sticks does give you experience and then crafting the arrows gives you experience as well and i mean you know my hands are off the keyboard at the moment you know so you could say there is faster ways but yes it's you know you have to be actively faster okay that's one thing you have to actively be faster um uh, and it's not bad it's not bad okay like, my guy's going to craft for quite a while here. Okay, my guy's going to craft for quite a while, especially because I use the metal saw on the long sticks because a metal saw gives you five small sticks out of every long stick instead of just three small sticks out of every long stick. Okay? So, yeah, I can walk away. I'm doing this in the safe zone, you know. I can walk away from my keyboard now. There's nothing to fear. And go do something for five minutes. And when I come back, I would have probably gained. You now, I don't know how many sticks there are, but it's quite a few. So it's like for 50, 60. You know, it's like almost at that. It's like 10%, guys. Close to 10%. Okay. So if we do this with, you know, you can basically do this with 10 branches to go from zero survival to max survival. And everyone always needs arrows, okay? Arrows is needed. It is eating up our metal saw quite a bit, okay? That's the only negative thing. But, I mean, we've got a bunch of arrows here. So, we can just shoot arrows like it's going out of fashion, okay? But yeah, personally for me, like, the 55 that I'm getting from a stick is very, very nice. The 55 XP I'm getting from a long stick 
feels good. It feels good. That feels good as well. That feels like a very, very nice jump there. Let's just see here. 850. It's about 80. It's about 80. That's not bad. So 55 for a long stick. 80 for uh, a log. Yeah, if I'm right, we're going to end up at 8,099. Hmm, okay, no. Well, it's paid almost 100. Almost 100. Let's see here. I think it's almost 100. No, it's 82. It's 82. It's 82. Now, the last time I tested this, I look at the time that it takes. Like, literally, I run a stopwatch when I start processing something. Okay? And again, we can AFK this because if we just go to the crafting again, we can see we can make wooden plank bundles. Okay? But I, I, did, I did time these things, and for me... The logs were fast, but I'm thinking the sticks could be faster. That's not giving us a lot of XP. It's adding to it, but it's it's not really effective. So I'm thinking the long yeah, I'm thinking the long sticks that we process into short sticks might be good. But for me personally, guys, processing an entire tree properly is still a very, very good method. Okay, I think making a bundle is what? 30? That's like 25. Okay, but everything everything you craft, everything you process is adding to your survival skill. And like I say, the arrows might not seem like a lot, but you can step away from the keyboard. Yeah. That's a big thing. The fact that you can step away from the keyboard is quite big. But I feel the I feel the branch. I feel the branch just feels better for me. Okay? So I'm just gonna drink some water here before my guy dies. Drink all and then refill it. Can't believe my food is so high. We need to poop at some point. But I'm just going to drink this bottle of water and then refill it with the clean water immediately. There we go. Fill that. There we go. Um, line up belly. So yeah, guys, I'm just going to cut down a tree, cut down the branch, process all the long sticks into, you know, into small sticks, craft a bunch of arrows until I read basic. Okay? And then we'll go on with the lesson. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Basic survival. I just want to go check my sound options. Um, the UI volume. UI volume is a little bit soft. I don't exactly know what that volume is. But yeah, I want some volume there when that happens. So yeah, now that we've got basic survival, we've got both levels. We've got the compass, okay, that acts as level one. The little basic primitive compass, and we've got basic survival that counts as level two. And now we know where we're going with north, west, south, and east. Okay. So I don't want to do meg training today just yet. But I want to show you guys that the C2 trader isn't bad at all. You have got options, and it's your choice. I put the Dao sword and the compound bow inside the chest, so we're not going to use any fancy tools today, okay? Um, I'd like to get, like, a good Bushman, Bushman knife or something like that. But yes, here where we are, we have got multiple options. The town is very close. The castle is very close. The dam is close, but 
we are walking into centuries now. So that there's good loot at the dam, but you are going to have to deal with centuries. There's good loot at the prison, but you're going to have to deal with centuries. There's good, very good loot at the C2 bunker, but you're going to have to deal with centuries and running into players. Um, the chances of that is also quite high. And then you can loot this place, and you can loot this place. There are three locations here that you can loot without centuries. Okay? Which isn't too bad. So let's leave the centuries the sentry training for the next part in the series, okay? And let's just see what we can get without really taking any major risks, okay? So the first point that we're going to is right over here, okay? Then we're going to this point, and then we're going to that point, okay? So let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, and... Yeah, um, I'll just go and open the scummap.com because I do forget what these points of interest are called, okay? So, let's just go scum map, and we're going to go filters here. Okay, we've got the filter. So, this, okay, so that's basically just the town. This is the radio station. That's the observatory. Okay. So, this here is the radio station. That's the observatory. This is just the normal town with the little police station there. Okay. So, we don't need to go to the police station. So, we're going to do the radio station and the observatory. And the good thing is there's no, there's no puppets here. Um, I mean, there's no sentries here. What am I talking about? No puppets. But yeah, you we can get we can get quite we can get quite decent loot here. Only thing that you really need to fear here is like players, you know. I think that's your biggest threat. And there's a lot of open spaces for you to deal with the puppets. So I don't think that's a problem. But quite a bit of easy I won't say easy, but quite a bit of good loot, okay? Without major defenses, you know, like we are, we are actually just looking at puppet threats over here. But yeah, you know, like I like the fact that we're doing this step by step, so that I can like I am at in my gameplay. I am going towards sentries all the time because I need a personal challenge in scum. I've been doing this for for a long time. You know, I teach myself various things, but most of the time, fun is my main factor. That's why I have a lot of fun on my streams, okay? And that's why, you know, I do a lot of goofy things, is because people play games for a variety of reasons. Unfortunately, some people just play games to look good and to feel better about themselves or, you know, something that has to do with themselves um, and how they look, you know, how they feel about themselves. That's why, that's why people cheat, you know, that's why people um, do things that affect the community in a very negative way. But me personally, I just... Okay, that was bad. That was bad. So I'm going to move now. I'm definitely going to move. And I want to get into the half moon. Apparently, someone's opened this door already. But yeah, I'm a fan of the half moons. It's better, you know, to see where the puppets are coming from. And because I've got all these wooden arrows, I can really, you know, I can really play around with a lot of arrows. Just have a bit of fun with them. And yeah, I don't like the puppets looking at me a long time because they're just gonna call another horde. But yes, that's why that's why I like I like the fact that I'm thinking about you guys, you know, like that we can go through these steps slowly but surely because each of us are at a different phase 
in our scum journey or our survival game journey. You know, I'm definitely at the end where I let go of the reins and I'm just going nuts at the moment. Uh, but I am still learning things. And uh, because I'm putting myself in uncomfortable situations constantly, I am still learning things. My community still teaches me a lot of things. Um, but it's good for me to, how can I say, it's good for me to do this one step at a time with you guys, okay? Because a lot of people do have problems with, with sentries, you know, and, uh, Sorry guys, just focusing you a bit. This guy <laughs> looks like Bart Simpson attacking us here permanently. And who says you don't need a lot of arrows, eh? Whoever said we don't need a lot of arrows? These guys are insane, man. So yeah, I want to get my good arrows. The good arrows are definitely important to me. But yeah, like there is military loot here. The, there are these barrackses that you guys know I like a lot. Okay. So let me just pick up my arrows and I'll be back with you guys. Okay, we're back. Um, and yeah, I like the loot that's here, guys. I think somebody already looted the place, but you can get really, really good loot here. I'm just going to take my shotgun out because there's definitely signs that someone has been here. Don't know when they were here, but there's definitely signs that someone was here. So just going to take out the, my PvP weapon. And yeah, you know, I definitely, definitely like the place. And the fact that there's no sentries, you know, that makes quite a, that makes quite a bit of difference. I personally just like looting in first person. Um, the only reason I loot in third person is when I'm streaming, you know, or thinking of you guys like, you know, you guys would probably like to see the character. But me personally, first person is the way to go for me. Like, I'm in first person most of the time. And um, a lot of people like fighting, you know, puppets in third person. That's where they start missing puppets a lot. Uh, you know, they struggle to get their distance management in a melee fight right because of third person. You know, so forming good habits always helps but again not like i'm good at pvp you know i would say i'm above average pve wise but yeah you know if you guys are thinking why does it look easy when he does it i'm just just giving you guys a few you know few few things that i'm focused on like first person i'm in first person most of the time i use third person to like maybe see people a little bit easier because like we all know in third person you can look through grass you can look through a bush but when you're in first person you can't look through the bush you can't look through the grass but i know there's people that's playing in third person all the time you know and i know i'm putting myself at a disadvantage if i can't you know like if i'm in first person i can't see a guy on the other side of the bush but if he's in third person, he can see me, you know, if you guys understand what I'm saying. So just, just small advantages that you're trying to hold on to. I definitely feel this place has been looted. Um, I don't know what the, that arrow is doing there. I think that might be one of his arrows. Toolbox. That's nice. I don't know if I'm hearing something. I'm hearing something, but I'm sure that's a puppet. 
I'm hearing some slow walking, but I think that's a puppet. Yeah, but all, you always need to be careful. You don't know. Maybe the guy heard you, and now he's trying to be very, very safe, and then you run into him, and you get a heart attack. Okay? Always good to be prepared. But th these places have got nice loot, guys. I think I think someone has looted it recently. But, I mean, you know, we're getting hose pipes for the flamethrower. There is a half moon. There is military loot. Okay, we found garlic. I think we can even find grapes here, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. But, yeah, this is a good area. Good loot. You can find military clothing. Like I say, you can get really, really good loot here. If someone else hasn't been here or hasn't looted it, you know, a short while ago. But yeah, I like this area. You can loot that building as well. But I don't want to make the video too long. So let's go. This is the radio station. Let's go to the observatory. You can find weapons up there, guys. Um... Okay, so here we are at the observatory. But I'm going I picked up a chainsaw on the way here. There was a little town. That little town. Went into one of the garages, got a chainsaw. Chainsaw is gonna help you a ton with base building. Please don't sell a chainsaw, guys. It will help you a heck of a lot. Okay. Got a tr completely stripped truck there, which is quite sad. But yeah, again, a place that's very PvP focused, okay? Yes, there's a puppet threat, but the main threat is going to be... The main threat is going to be the PvP threat, okay? And, you know, like, I think all of us know how to manage the hordes by this time. If you don't, come and join my streams, okay? From Monday to Saturday. Same time, same place. But yeah, I'm looking for some scrap metal. I'm actually looking for two scrap metal now. Because I want to make 12 metal arrows. I want to make 12 metal arrows. Because I threw those wooden arrows away. Or I basically, you know, arranged my inventory. Oh, that's a... It can be useful. The shotgun is taking up weird space. But, you know, we can always go and bury it again. We're not far away from the freighter. But yes, guys, the observatory is a, is a great place again to get good kind, you know, good loot. Um, I mean, I've already got a few things to sell. I'm going to craft myself some really good metal arrows right now. Um, you know, just very, very important to look out for players. I hope this puppet doesn't call a horde now. Okay, looks like the papa didn't call call his or her friends. So I'm just aiming for a car right now. There are cars there, so I'm going to go up here. And then hide. Doesn't help being in the open when you're doing something. Going to get me two scrap metal. Going to get into a place where no one can see me. Okie dokie. Now with the toolbox, I'm going to make the metal. I guess you go here. Yeah? Make the metal. Two of them. There we go. Now we only need the sticks. So, yeah, gonna go get me some sticks without dying. Definitely gonna get me some sticks without dying. 
Whoopsie. That, I hurt myself there unnecessarily. Always keeping an eye, you know, on the surroundings. So that, that observatory there can give you a, go, a good military, military equipment. That uh, factory over there can give you good working equipment, like a saw or something like that. Uh, what I'm doing here is not the most effective in the world, but it's it's definitely the fastest to get the small sticks, okay? Definitely the fastest to get the small sticks. Again, looking, you know, keeping an eye. Something one coming from down there is very unlikely. Someone being inside this area is quite likely. My health isn't too high, okay? I've got 30% HP missing, which is not the best idea in the world. But I think I'll be able to craft 12 arrows now because you usually get about 10 small sticks at the end. And then you make five other small sticks. Um, I'm going to add this to my quick slot in case poop gets real. For now, I'm just going to use my pistol. Okay. And then I'm going to craft the metal arrows until I can't craft anymore. While keeping an eye on the area that I want to loot. Okay, there we go. So, we're replacing the wooden arrows with metal arrows, which is going to be a lot more effective. And here we go, guys. Um... Just going to prioritize the broadheads. So I'm fine with that. But yeah, I'm just going to give you a quick breakdown tutorial. Because I'm using these arrows, like not having 30% HP missing is not a good idea. Oh my word. Like I say, once there's colliders in this game and things can't go through everything. This game would be 10 times better. But I still love it to death. But I definitely see what's wrong with it. Um, so yeah. Get good equipment there. Military equipment there. Building equipment there. Good equipment there. Okay. We're definitely going to get building equipment in here. Without us. Without us. Yo. That was a long opening. Without a shadow of a doubt, guys, we're going to get, get building equipment here. There we're getting the bat. The bat is fantastic because, as you guys know, the nailed bat is a phenomenal, um, phenomenal melee tool, okay? You guys know I like using the bat. I think I lost my wooden bat in the previous, previous part. But, you know, we said it's not going to be a problem. We'll be able to get it back again. And then we can. If we just keep a nail on us, every time we find a bat, we are A4 away, okay? But like I say, we're definitely going to get some building, yeah, you know, like nails. Definitely going to get some building equipment here. That's very nice. Um, the shirt isn't very necessary. Going to put the arrow away that we've got a better vision here. Normally, there's a lot more loot here, but um, still, okay? Still, very good building materials. You can find a chainsaw here as well. I won't be surprised if I find like an axe or a saw. You know, there's some shoes, rubber gloves. Not a bad place at all. And yes, we are on 0.7 loot, guys. 0 0.7 loot, okay. So, if you like what I'm finding, just understand on official, on vanilla settings, you will, you will like it even more. No sentry, you know, like, you do get these kinds of buildings at other places, but there's sentries looking at you, making it a little bit more complicated. Here we can loot in peace and harmony. If a player doesn't shoot at us. Very, very nice loot areas here. We can get something to drink if we want. There is a smartphone battery. That's fantastic. 
absolutely fantastic. We are full already, you know, we should already start making our way to a trader. But yeah, um, if you guys like this video, do me a favor and click that like button. And I think now that you guys get the basic concept, we are having a lot of fun. We are exploring various places. We haven't run into sentries yet. We haven't put ourselves in extreme uncomfortable situations yet. But I do think the next part, we're going to do some sentry training. Okay? Because at the moment, I feel people are struggling more with puppets and hordes than what they are struggling with sentries. I don't know. I don't think sentries is the new game breaker anymore. I feel that you know, puppets and hordes are the new game breaker because there's a few more issues with the puppets and the way they spawn and the way they can just spawn inside of anything and go through anything. You know, I think that's a major problem at the moment. But yeah, okay. Standard loot here. You can get standard loot right here through the bank. You know, lots of standard loot you can get. There's lockers that you can unlock, which I am not going to, you know, like I say, a lot of various loot here. You can find yellow screwdrivers here. There's lockers that you can unlock, which I'm not going to unlock because I've only got six screwdrivers on me. And I want to keep it. You know, I want to keep it for um, if a cargo drop lands on top of me, I want to be prepared. Okay. But there are lockers here. I know for a fact there's lockers here. I just seem to be a little bit... There's the lockers. Okay. But the main place that you want to go for is, of course, you just go upstairs, you know, in here. Right here, up here is where all the military loot is. Okay. You can find AK-47s here. Ammo. Military loot. Okay. You can find really good military loot here. To see if we find anything anything interesting on 0 0.7 loot. HS9 magazine would be nice. I'd like to use the pistol properly instead of just loading single shots. So yeah, we're lucky this time. We weren't very lucky this time, guys, but we can get lucky, okay? So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go sell what I want to sell, okay? Just going to replace these two bottles. I'm going to go and sell what I want to sell. And then the next episode, we're going to do some sentry training, okay? Okay. Might loot the rest of the place. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, but I, you know, I always want to, I always want to look for a bed before I log out. That's my focus point. Every single time I want to log out, I want to find a bed. Some people say you don't need a bed. Which might be true. But I just want to immerse myself. I just don't know how difficult it's going to be to find a bed here, okay? But, not, you know, there's military equipment here. There is um, building equipment, base building equipment, industrial equipment. Um, you can even find TNT here, okay? You can, you can find TNT here. Let's put the arrow back. Like, there's buildings up there that you can find TNT in, okay? Here's a little model. Um, but yeah, I don't think I, I don't think there's a bed here. I'm finding it very hard to believe that there's a bed there. There's a lock. There's bobby pins. Okay, which is really, really, really nice. We have to start choosing at some point. I'm going to choose the lock. I think the lock's going to sell for a bit more. I've got it. I've got more than enough bobby pins. I don't know why I want to have the bobby pins on me. There's another lock. Whether you use the lock or whether you sell it, a lock is a lock, okay? You can get some cool stuff up there. I just want to show you guys what the what the building looks like. 
where you usually can get the TNT. And of course the coal mine, the coal mine is close by as well. Okay. Coal mine is there where you can also find TNT. But you can find TNT in military points of interest as well. It's just rare. And it should be rare because it's very um, it's very powerful. Uh, mustard, no. Yo, that guy almost scared me. But yes, there's a certain building that can give you TNT as well. Which you're gonna try and get to that building quickly. There, guys, that build. No, it's not that building. Okay, there are certain buildings in at the coal mine, you know, above the coal mine and at the observatory. It's like a workshop area with cardboard boxes and stuff like that. I actually can't believe that there must be one of them here. Yeah, yeah, there is one of them here. There is one of them here. We just haven't looted it yet. So yeah, guys, basically this buildings like these can give you DNT, okay? I want to make them jump as much as I can. Okay, put put a gap between me and them. But they can they can call a horde again, which I don't like. Just looking at me, they can call a horde. And I don't want to deal with another horde, so I'd rather deal with them right now. <laughs> That's why a melee weapon is always a good idea. Difficult to fight close range with a bow. Getting into some deep dances here. And that's part of the game. <laughs> so yes, guys. My first mistake there is not moving far enough away from the horde. Okay. I've got money. I'm prepared to die. Okay. That's not a problem. I can... While, I, while I'm dead, I can press control C. Okay. To copy my location to go paste it on scummap.com so I don't you know so I don't lose my body location um but yeah we gotta quickly get back to our body but that was a good that was a good you know example of that puppets are the new thing that people struggle with hordes are the new things that people struggle with instead of centuries okay but I mean I didn't like the, the you know though I activated a horde when I went into the building and then I stayed inside the building that means the puppets aren't gonna be very far away from me I need to cover a lot of distance so that I get away from that radius of where the horde spawned um you know and wait for them to cool down and then take it from there but that was a good example so I'm gonna open my map immediately there's the observatory, which is west, mostly south. Um, okay, there's the observatory, okay? 
I don't have my compass on me. I only have basic survival. That's why I can only see north. So yeah, just gonna hold in W. Gonna get back to my body. And I'll be with you guys now. Okay, so here we go. Gotta stay away from the puppets until I get to my body. One puppet is gonna kill me. I just need to get to my weapons. That's the first thing I need. I need the bat. I need that. And then I need to defend my body. Okay. Glad we didn't lose anything. And that's it, guys. In the next part, we're gonna do some. We're gonna do some sentry training. Okay. It's good that I showed you guys that LDR can get, you know, can get a bit hectic. But I also explained to you guys that it was mostly my mistake there. I was, you know, I didn't move away from the danger area far enough, and I lost quite a few arrows. Yeah, I lost quite a few arrows here. And good ones. I lost good arrows. Now the metal ones are right, but we lost the broad edge, which is bad. Yeah, it's good that we're finding most of our metal ones. Oh, oh, I think most of the fight took place up here. I think most of the fight took place up here. It's easy to go. Bloody game took my arrows. Just, you know, just, just think a little bit. Just retrace your steps. I know I left my chainsaw down there. But I know I used a lot of arrows up here, okay? No, I used a lot of arrows here. There we go. Here's my good arrows. There's more good arrows, okay? Just retracing my steps. Not the end of the world. We still lost two good arrows, but at least we... Like this building. This building is where you can find TNT. Okay? Buildings like this is where you can find TNT. But like I say, it's going to be rare. But if you loot these places regularly, and if you loot military points of interest regularly, and if you loot cargo drops regularly, you will get lucky at some point. And yo, we lost quite a few good arrows, eh? Definitely lost quite a few good arrows here. I'm wondering, isn't there a bed up there? That's what I'm wondering about. Is there a hidden bed up here? Definitely no bed up here. Nope. Standard loot. There's nice chocolate. There's more loot up there. I can always be dumb if I want to be dumb. Because being dumb is always good. I won't say being dumb is always good, but it, having fun is always good. Yeah? And I know where... I know where... Okay. I know where I can find a bed. Right in that little town down there. Okay, right in that little town down there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. In the next part, we're going to go sell all our loot. And we're going to play with sentries a bit. Okay? So, hope you enjoy your day. And keep rocking it. Cheers.
You guys thought I forgot my chainsaw. Ha 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 ha.